All right. I think we can go ahead and get started. Um, I think it was James that added the uh, the clone agenda item. So uh, we usually like to take those topics before the triage uh, issue triage. So uh, feel free if you're ready. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you able to hear me good? Yeah. All right. Cool. Hey. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. My My name is James Ortiz. Uh. This is actually my first time uh, on the group. I recently joined. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks. Uh, so I'm working with a team, um, and we're uh, replacing. Uh, we we pretty much have like a two cluster setup. We're using KVCSI in a split deployment. Um, we're replacing one of the CSI provisioners on a, a what we consider like our lower level clusters with KVCSI. And as part of that, um, we're uh, pretty much looking at uh, keeping feature parity with what the previous CSI provider had. Um, and one of those things we see KVCSI, it looks like clone um, and resize operations aren't supported. Uh, we were looking at it, one of the issues, there was an issue written uh, against like the GitHub repo for the resize and it looks like clone is being prioritized first before that. Um, I was just trying to get an idea of what timelines look like for that. Um, based on the timeline, we're thinking we may uh, sort of implement resize herself and depending on how that goes, uh, potentially contribute that back um, to, to the GitHub. But just trying to get an idea of, um, I guess, what timelines for having clone and resize operations in KVCSI look like. Yeah, uh, so I'll, I guess I would hand that to uh, Alexander. Do you want to uh, chat to that? I think we're getting started on at least on clone here. I think you understand it exactly right. In fact, uh, yeah, that clone is kind of the next one on there uh, on the list. But Alexander, go ahead. All right. So I, I sort of missed the, the beginning of this, but yes, uh, CSI clone uh, would be the next one uh, implemented and then afterwards we start. Okay. Um, is there any like particular timeline um, for, I guess, when, when you expect clone to, to be uh, completed and implemented or like a particular version by chance? Uh, so we, we don't really have a released version of Super CSI. That's also another thing that I, I need to work on is actually implement a proper release process and start making actual releases. Um, I, don't really have a timeline. Uh, I'm, I'm working on something else right now, but once that's done, uh, cloning is next up. Okay, got it. Okay. And I would say that, you know, you mentioned that you guys were considering um, uh, contributing the, the resize support, like, you know, that would definitely be awesome to have help on the driver. And I think should definitely, accelerate that if it's something that you guys would be jumping into and this is a good place to to mention that so we can kind of uh have it in our mind that there there is somebody that's looking at that okay yeah yeah um and then i think the only other thing related to that is when i was looking through um like the csi support operations there's also like the volume um volume mode access uh supportability I didn't see where that was uh, called out in like the KVCSI um, repo, and I, I kind of looked around a little bit. I didn't see it. Um, like usually, there's uh, like a CSI provider has the capability accesses called out, but then also the volume um, mode access like capabilities called out. Is there a specific spot in KVCSI where that is called out? Like uh, I didn't see that in the plugin or anything. I, I wasn't sure if there was a spot where that was called out. So it, it's not actually a capability that the the driver reports. Like there is this like a get capabilities function, right? That tells you all the things that the driver supports. But when you call create volume, there's a validation check that checks uh, volume of the next. So if it's an invalid combination, then we'll return an error. Okay, yeah, so then, okay. I was just going to say, like, uh, are you just asking for documentation on what this currently supported modes are? Yeah, exactly. So because uh, when we were looking at, like, the difference between the current provider and KVCSI, just trying to identify if there were any particular gaps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think we have documentation on that. But... 
uh, we, we support read write many block and read write one block as well. Okay, so read write many block and rewrite mount block. Is that did I hear that correctly? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh cool. Yeah, I think that's um all the questions I have related to that currently. All right. Cool. Um yeah, I don't know if we want uh I guess I'm not even familiar with where the docs are for that, Alexander, but we may want to create like a we might want to take this feedback and see if we can add a little bit of documentation on specific uh yeah supported modes supported operations and even potentially like if we have an idea of what's coming soon for the clone ephemeral volumes um resize yeah we, we need to uh, yeah we well yeah just but even just like a, a little um overview doc or something like that uh that has that okay great um so any other agenda items before we pop into the cdi triage all right i'm gonna open this up Okay, add documentation for usage of the data source property. Right, is this the, this is the actual PVC field and not the, not the, uh, yeah, not the populator, or wait, it's, yeah, so this is the using the populators directly uh, in the. Sorry, Alexander, you're a little bit hard to hear. Is this better? Oh, yeah, much better. Oh, yeah, I, I got a new microphone and I forgot to switch it on um, Zoom here. Uh, so I, I was saying data source is a snapshot clone or snapshot restore, a CSI clone, as well as populated. Okay. I, I guess technically populators are data source reps, but uh, yeah. clone and uh, restore are data source or data source reps. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, those, I mean, those, it's are, those are standard Kubernetes fields. So maybe just link to that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I could see it being useful to, you know, since it is kind of a pass through property, it'd be interesting to, uh, yeah, to have docs on how to use it directly with, yeah, the real, like with the Kubernetes supported data sources, but then also with our populators, especially the ones that we ship. We have, we have documentation on, on populators. Right, okay. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, yeah, where is that at actually? The the doc on the popular explains how to use PVC with data source ref for the population populators and explains that if you want to, to use populators with data volumes, you just I think that issue though was for using the data volume with it's with the data volume API using Using a populator via the data volume API. Yeah, so, but we we also have the external DB population dogs. Uh, that one. Uh, yeah, I think that's what they're asking for. Okay. Yeah. Though this one is more specific about data source ref, but it should be interchangeable. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, they might be confused because this is using the data volume spec storage and not data volume spec PVC, which is what they're talking about in the issue. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just going to still link to uh, Hey, 
and there was uh was there one other one that yeah we had the we have external dv population and then where's the other one i think there was an the mm -hmm. populators volume import source and then yeah we have the pvc yeah so this one covers the the pvc aspect in the the other one covers data volumes, but with a non supply, like an external. So, um, so yeah, um, um, oops. Wow, oh, my typing is terrible this Monday morning. <laughs> um. All right, I'm just gonna put that for now. Um, I do think that it would be helpful to add some examples on into the CDI populators doc for data volume use since we got that data volume integration. Um, yeah, right. but the, the data volume use is just the regular use. Uh, so, I guess we can add some more documentation, but oh, it's gosh, not yeah, like you're right. we need to specify it. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Okay. So yeah, now I'm just, now I'm like confusing myself. So I think maybe the external DV population one gives them what, what they need, but yeah. Okay. All right. So we might actually be okay on this. All right. This was 3313. Yeah, this is the last one. That was the only one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I'm going to go back here and see. Um, does anyone have uh, something to bring up for open floor or any other agenda items? Uh, if not, we'll make it a short call today. Uh, so going once, going twice. And that's a wrap. So thanks, everyone, for joining. And we'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.